Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we solve your complications. I'm Harry and today I'm joined by just Ravs, but a super, super special guest, Simon Honeydew, the diggy diggy hole man. How you doing? Hello, yes, it's me, Mimes digging a hole. Sorry, (laughs) Kanye West was unavailable, so I'm stepping in. I love it. I hope that's okay. Great reference, great uh, reference. Great reference. I was hoping Kanye would be here this week, but, you know, I'll settle for Club of the Clown. I was hoping for Barack Obama. That's, I mean, I've still, that's my (laughs) cope. One day we'll get Barack Obama on this fucking podcast. That would be good. I don't think that's... I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But You're just going to have to accept. It's nice to have dreams, though, Simon. It's nice to have things to look forward to. You know, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. Oh. This is a Simon Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Lane, everybody. <laughs> So unfortunately, Lydia's ill this week. Rams actually has COVID. I actually have COVID, and I'm here, Lydia. What are you saying? What are you saying, Lydia? <laughs> <laughs> um, but Simon, thank you so much for joining us. Have you, have you listened to some Zero Degrees before? Have you, have you given I it? have. What did you I've think? Listened to the, what did you think? Uh, do you know what? I thought it was fine, right? Maybe even good. Mm-hmm. But then, oh, mm-hmm. but then I listened to an episode about like p- pissing, and then I listened to the one about a guy trying to put his his bollocks inside of a lady's uh, bum hole. Oh yes. <laughs> and then I was like, do you know what? Unsub. <laughs> it was too explicit for you. I feel like we, we started quite explicit. I feel like it was, you know, it was all quite mm. raunchy. It's quite a raunchy podcast, Simon. Are you ready for that? It is. I actually skipped part of it when I think Rabs asked you, what's the, what's the, what's, what was it? What's the most times you've masturbated in a day? <laughs> yeah. And I yeah, skipped yeah, yeah. forward. <laughs> I skipped forward in the episode. I was like, I, did Do you, know you not what? want to know or what? I don't need to know that. I'm going to be happy. My life will be improved having not heard the answer to that question. I mean, now that you're here, Simon, what's yeah, your I, answer we, to that question? Yeah, I feel like you have to answer that question now. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think the more important thing to do is answer the the burning questions that have been sent in by your mm. lovely listeners. Lovely segue, lovely segue. Shall yeah. we? So, should we? Should we just jump into a question, or do we want to? Sure. I, I, so I like last I, night, yeah, when I was when I was like having a die from COVID, I was like, oh shit, the podcast tomorrow. I, I've lost all concept of time since TwitchCon and having COVID. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna pick out some old questions. I'm gonna pick out a few, a few, few more questions that aren't just like. The streamers help. Uh, what does come? Dear zero degrees. What does come? What, yeah. Uh, I I cannot eat a meal without coming. It. I had to pick something that wasn't that for once. You know. We we have nearly five hundred questions, and that is the majority. Oh my of them. god. Yeah. yeah. We've answered about twenty. <laughs> we we've, we've done a terrible <laughs> okay. terrible job at answering any of these fucking questions. Some of them are so long, though, Simon. It's it's people's entire fucking life stories. It's it's a lot. It's a lot to take on. I so, think maybe some of the people that are writing in these questions, maybe they just need to start a, a blog mm. instead of writing into you. Maybe maybe they need to post this on a forum on the internet. Yeah. Um, yeah, because honestly, you know, it's, it's, we are certainly underqualified for some of these questions. <laughs> Wait, speaking of qualified, before we get into the question, we have to do a degree check. Simon, mm. have you any degrees? No. I am. I have not got a degree. I did not achieve my degree at Cardiff University, and that's why you're on I this podcast. Failed. Thank you. <laughs> but but Perian was on, wasn't he? Oh yeah. yeah. I, I kind of thought he did yeah. have one. Something. He comes across. Honestly, Simon, you come across as having one. Perian comes across as as not having a degree. <laughs> I. I, d- I don't know which of us should be more insulted. Me or Perian. <laughs> Probably Perian, actually. I think Perian should be more Probably insulted him. by that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was your degree in? It was like so- like science space. Astrophysics. <laughs> you did fucking astrophysics. Oh my god, I forgot Astrophysics. That. That's like big yeah. brain stuff. It is. It's all it's all mathematics, really. It's all mathematics. Did it give you is some like, one... good life skills and stuff? Like really set you no. up? No. No. <laughs> no. Is that the one no. that Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, is smart at? Millions yes. and millions of particles. That's my yes. Neil deGrasse Tyson voice. That's a pretty good impression. Honestly. Oh, I... oh. Ye- mm. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the first question. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the first question. <laughs> 
Question one. Here we go. How long after you start dating someone would you share a bath with them? And would you be embarrassed to fart in front of them while in the bath? <laughs> what, what are you feeling, guys? I, I feel like it's so... I feel like we talked about baths last week or week before. I, I feel like it's so... Baths are <coughs> such a place where you just like... All of your your grimy like boy dirt goes off you. Do you know what I mean? You just kind of like <laughs> boy dirt. You just wallow in boy dirt. dirt. <laughs> and oh I just feel like God. the idea of sharing that kind of experience, you know, of me kind of, I don't know. I also just feel like being in a bath, being in water is quite a kind of like you're in quite a kind of a raw state. You know, I feel very vulnerable in a bath. It's like being in the womb, isn't it? It is. It's like being in the womb. Yeah. Um. Just the idea of sharing liquid. that. Ugh, like, do you want to share that with someone? Like my warm boy dirt with I don't the person think that so. I like? Unless you had like a really big bath, mm. you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't see that being good. Like, what do you, you would basically have to like scissor, wouldn't you? Like, you'd have to like, <laughs> yeah, you kind of would have to like of, scissor a little bit in the bath. That's hot, actually. That's that's kinda, it's, a, like that. it's kind of a little hotter. Yeah, but hotter than like, showering together, <clears throat> no, actually. And <laughs> I think about it. Yeah. I do have a very I do have a very personal anecdote that's on topic that I could share that I don't think I've ever told anyone. Okay. Right? Okay. But yeah, there, was, there was there uh, was a a a past sexual partner. Mhm. Uh I was I, we were in the shower together and and it was it was erotic. Mm -hmm. And then there came a moment where I was like, "Do you know what? In order to get really clean, I probably should like wash around my ass and I'm like I'm gonna have to wait for her to leave before I do that because it's going to ruin it's going to ruin the moment your, your boy dirt really, your boy dirt's gonna yeah, ruin the moment you the have point to scrub your boy dirt out in front of her it's, you know, I mean I honestly I feel like you should have just looked her right in the eyes and just <laughs> done it that's just ultimate assert dominance just like she's like holy oh. shit this is the most Chad guy I've ever been with. Just, you just rubbing, fucking rubbing your rubbing ass. Rubbing your clean. fucking ass, staring and grunting. <laughs> also, just taking the shower head, just shoving it up there. She's standing there cold. She's oh, not getting God. warm. God, that is. But it's like I do that. I, you know, if I was to do that, like you know, with with a hand, and then and then what do I do afterwards? <laughs> do I then put that hand on her boob. Like how do you? <laughs> You just lick the fingers. You lick the fingers and main eye to maintain eye contact. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I, honestly, as someone who's also, you know, partaken and, and tried the kind of shower um, exotics, it's just fucking slippery and complicated. It's being in that place with another person is not good. I'm it's already not... scared about falling in the shower as it is. Like, I'm, I, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to fuck around with that. I just feel like. Why do people want to like? Come on, you only live <laughs> once, mate. <laughs> I mean, it'd be a hell of a way to go, I guess. I I don't feel like uh, I would. Do you guys want to share a bath? Is that like I don't know? Maybe no, there's I something nice. Maybe like maybe. a big bath, like one of those like hotel baths. I am kind of enjoying the idea of it being like cramped in there and you like scissoring with someone. I think that, <laughs> that is like kind of actually like selling me on the idea a little bit. Just... How about Rabs? How about you're in like one of those like hot springs in Japan? Okay, yeah. Mm. You're you're lying in you know this this wonderful like there's they've got their the the yuzus floating around in the tub. <sighs> mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. lovely, mm -hmm. and and then and then like four cat girls walk in. <laughs> cat girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four okay. cat girls walk in, <laughs> okay. and then they they start washing you. Uh huh. Okay. Is this? Are you okay with this so far? Yeah, I, I, so far I'm down. Okay, but then as soon as one puts her paw, I mean toe, <laughs> in, into, <laughs> into the water, are you then out? No, I'm still, I'm still in there. I'm still in there. Okay, okay. So you'd be fine with this? I think hmm. so. Yeah, you've painted it's a very nice picture to it me. Just, it needs a bit of and upselling, I, right? And then I yeah. see. Scrub my boy dirt and get it, 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 it my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't help that we kind of framed it all around boy dirt and asses instantly. I guess it can be more yeah. romantic, right? It's just no, I've, I've, take a shower first, then get in the bath with your partner. Yeah, it's more erotic. That's very wasteful on the water, Simon. That's not very ecological of you. Oh, it's very, it's an extravagant. <laughs> Rams gets COVID. Environment dies. <laughs> Fuck I it, it gets. 
I don't think, you know, when Jeff Bezos is going off into space and, you know, and mm. Kylie Jenner's taking three minute flights or whatever, I don't think it matters, you know, how much water, you know, we use personally. Well, I, yeah, suddenly we could all take two. We're t- suddenly double Did you see barfing. That? Did you Sorry, see I'm, that I'm double barfing today. <laughs> that picture she put up with her boyfriend being like, your jet or mine because uh, they have two private jets and they were taking oh, a five minute god, flight god it's so fucking gross so <laughs> fucking gross ah uh, anyway, anyway I, I hope would... that answers your question um <laughs> <laughs> well how long after you start dating someone would you share a bath with them i you know what i i don't know i, I don't know uh, I, yeah i feel like it's a type of thing you either like you do very early on or you're probably never gonna do yeah do you know what i mean and would you be embarrassed you both want to do or it's just not it's not there and would if you... i mean if you're spending a weekend together mm. then it's like your first weekend together and you're just you know at, constantly, it, at it like rabbits just fucking yeah yeah then then having a bath together would be completely natural to happen uh-huh right uh-huh. that's fine that's fine. Do you, but do you, do you, but then farting in front of them when you're in the bath, <laughs> maybe wait a few weeks. Don't do that on the first weekend. Oh, I um, feel like farting. I feel like farting in the bath in front of them is so much worse than farting like just out in the air. Do you know what I mean? I feel like a bath it, fart is worse. It's funny. It's funny as fuck though. <laughs> <laughs> it is funnier, but I feel like it's a lot. It feels more confrontational. <laughs> it doesn't feel as chill. <laughs> Yeah, and what if you so. follow through? <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! It's like oh, the, you just like send a, a battleship, a fucking <laughs> torpedo <laughs> towards them. This dark oil starts spreading throughout the bath. <laughs> My boy, dirt! You <laughs> 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 just stand up and start scrubbing. <laughs> oh my god! It won't be clean. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like you just shouldn't do that. I feel like. Just yeah. stay out of baths. Just stay out of it. You know, do it once or twice, and then it's it's just there's beds for reasons, right? Come on, come on, people. Yeah, come on. Let's be serious here. Dear zero degrees, I'm a window cleaner, and I've been having some strange interactions with a customer, and I don't know how best to handle the situation. A few months back, I picked up a new customer who we'll call Mr. Donaldson, not his real name. He's an older man who lives alone. I began cleaning his windows once every two weeks and all was fine at first. He paid on time and was always cheerful. After a month, I was cleaning one of the bedroom windows when he walked oh. into the room just wearing a pair of Y fronts. He knew mm. I was cleaning the windows as I always knock and alert customers that I'll be working. I quickly climbed down from the ladder and left that room until last so I knew he would be just by then. That following week, I'm cleaning the kitchen window when he suddenly walks in with his shirt on, but no trousers. Again, I leave and go to another window. I rationalise it thinking, well, he's an older man who lives alone. Maybe that's just what he does because he's so used to being alone. (laughs) That's what I do. (laughs) That's what I do. I literally walk around my fucking place naked. Like, it's one of the joys of life, right? Just freedom. Um, Continues. Well, last week I cleaned all the windows without incident. I knock on the door to let him know I was done so he could lock up the, ga- uh, the garden gate and, and the doors open. Mr. Donaldson is stood there, completely stark bollock naked, with an old rugby sock covering his <laughs> cock and balls. Oh my God. I left immediately. What do I do? Do I keep cleaning his windows? Do I try and contact someone to let them know? Social services, the police, playboy. He still <laughs> owes me money from last week. Oh my! Oh God! <clears throat> so you need a stamped addressed envelope. Sorry, oh. Barry. Barry. Raz, Sorry, Ravs. That's fine. The stamped address envelope. Go on, Simon. I'm curious your take on this. I was thinking, in order to get the money, <clears throat> just post post an envelope through his door by hand with your address on, don't, with don't, a stamp on, no, no. and then he can just post the money to you. <laughs> what if he just sends the don't salt? Don't give him your fucking salt. address. <laughs> Do not just give him the salt. <laughs> and just seal it with like a kiss. Keep <clears throat> on the back so the postman doesn't open it. Yeah, just seal it with some lipstick kiss. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Do not do that. That's a terrible idea. He'll, he'll hunt you down. He's crazy, Simon. He's a crazy <laughs> naked crazy. man. He wants blood. He wants blood. <laughs> he wants blood, oh preferably God. inside of a penis. <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. 
Uh, Ravs, you said you've had yeah. a moment like this. Tell well, us, yeah. tell us what you did. Before I did all this, you know, streamer and podcast extraordinaire, I was a window cleaner, as you boys will well know. And I may have even told you this story before, but this is very similar to a story I had where, you know, I was doing a customer's house and I he came down to pay me. He lived on like a top floor uh, flat. So he paid me and I, I just kind of clocked that something was a bit off about him already. And then I cleaned all of his house and I was on the last window. It was like a living room window. It was a really big window. And I climbed up and I soaped up all the window and stuff and I started to take it off with my little, my little squeegee. And then he walked into the room completely fucking naked wanking. Oh my uh, God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, makes sense why he paid first. Uh, and, you know, stuff like this just happens. It's fucking weird as hell. I mean, it's like, remove the like kind of funny, joking nature. It's really fucked up. Like, it's horrendously it like wrong and fucked <coughs> up. It like, really what a is. horrible, yeah. horrible thing to, to, to have yeah. happen. I'm it, sorry. That's fucking shit. Perverts. They're yeah. perverts yeah. and they think they can get away with it because they're not doing it in public. They're doing it in the privacy of their, their own home. So nobody, you know, what's going to happen? Yeah. You can't call the police and say, I saw a guy wanking in his own house yeah. on the top floor of the <laughs> apartment. I was standing yeah. there like, at the top of my ladder looking in. <laughs> like, what? what's the kind of, like... What's like in the window cleaning business? What do people what do people say about that? What's like what do you know? Do you report it to police or not? Is there a slang term? Is no. there a slang term for them? No. <laughs> yeah, wankers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I like, n- never reported anything like that at all. It's just kind of like, oh, do you see anything weird today, mate? Oh yeah, I saw this. It was just kind of like that environment, you know. Yeah. Uh, like in this situation, I think it's just like probably a senile old 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 guy you know it's kind of sounds like it mr donaldson just sounds like he's just comfortable in his own home but also maybe losing it a little bit and maybe he just like came out a shower and like all he had was a sock <clears throat> to answer the door i don't know but put a fucking yeah. maybe a welfare on. a welfare check is in order yeah, yeah. social services welfare check yeah I would, I, mean, I would say so fundamentally right you just don't want it to happen to anybody else like <laughs> you want to kind yeah. of put a halt to that so no one else has that happen to them right like, yeah yeah um god it's pretty it's like it, it makes me wonder how how frequently it happens was it like commonplace or else did that happen a lot well, yeah my friend like an- had a woman answer the door with just like her giga bush out just like an <laughs> absolute like god. mammoth mammoth bush <laughs> sorry lady so, 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 sorry mom I'm, I'm here for the windows not the garden yeah. sorry <laughs> <laughs> you say sorry lid <laughs> sorry oh my sorry, god. Say, sorry lid first <laughs> oh my god i was gonna say sorry oh, lady. What, what are you trying to say harry <laughs> <laughs> um. oh, <God>. um. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, this is fuck. why we need a manscaped sponsorship <laughs> <laughs> oh my god God. Oh, also, can we have some of those things that do the the personal wipes? <laughs> the, yeah, the little what are they? What yeah, are they the called? Like things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. remember what they call them, but there's there's a special term that they have for them to get rid of boy dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's boy dirt be gone. I think that is. Yeah, I think that's the yeah, brand. It might be it. I yeah. I feel it's just so. <clears throat> I feel. I mean, it seems like the question isn't super phased by it, right? Like they seem like they're doing all right. Yeah, Doesn't I mean, feel like... I felt right? the same. I'm fine. Yeah, I just thought it was like that was fucking weird. That's how I really felt about it. Uh, I, I, it feels it, like they're not too phased. I think like social services for a checkup would be like the move. Where, where does this come from, though? Where does this like you know flashing a window cleaner come from? It's not like you know you know you like you get in porn. There's all the plumber comes around and then oh no you know fucking my my cock's out or whatever like. It's about power and control Wait, over how someone many, else. Right? How many plumbers come in with a cock out? Do I don't know. I, I don't watch those <laughs> oh ones. So I'm not... <laughs> yeah, is that, is that it? What, like, they, they it's a hell of a d- pipe you got there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to fix your boy pipes. <laughs> God. Like, is that... So it can, it can just be about power control. They're, they, maybe in their normal life, they're quite powerless. They are some sort of pervert, um, and they know that they can get away with this, that it's safe, because it's in their house. And if they were to do it out in the real world, they would get into trouble. So they know that they can get away with it. Um, 
and they think, fuck it, it's just a, it's just a window cleaner. It's like barely a human being. That's probably what they would think, right? It's just someone, you know. Yeah. It's just some work guy. <clears throat> so yeah, it's really shit. It's really unbelievably shit. But I wonder you if know, there's like a kind you've got to be a bit of a fucking psychopath. I wonder if there's like a. I guess, Raps, would you guys ever, like, skip houses that you knew would do that? Or was that, like, a personal choice thing? or like, No, because like, like, it's, like, it's, it's very rare that these things actually happen. And, like that, That's an only one-time occurrence to me. The rest of the time, we're just, like, accidentally catching, like, a guy who thought he was home alone enjoying some <laughs> private movies or, like, you know, accidentally <laughs> catching, like, an old lady coming out of a shower or some shit, you know, like... You, you you would get accidental stuff, but at that point well, you're was, mate, you mate, you're peeping, yeah. you're, you're the peeping yeah. Tom, mate. Well, they, I mean, I tried to be as loud as I could with my ladder and stuff to let them know that I was coming. You know, I'd be like banging their so windows. So let them know so what? Let them know that I was heading up to clean their windows. <laughs> no, you said no. What you said was um, to let them know I was coming. <laughs> that's what you said. Well, that's what the shaking of the ladder means. <laughs> if you can do that whilst holding the squeegee and the bucket. Then fair play well, to you. Yeah, I was listening. He deserves it. He I was deserves listening it. to the uh, hands-free sexual hypnosis. <laughs> Fuck. Sure. Uh, do you ever, that's a great, great question because that sexual hypnosis shit fucking blew my mind. Was it? It was last week we were chatting, Simon. Yeah. Apparently, Ravs has has tried to do one of those sexual hypnosis things where you just kind of listen to a thirty-minute video and it's going to make you come. Have you ever? Have you ever heard of that? Is it the- is it the one that's just like, ooh, <laughs> like noises like that? I don't, like, I was 16. And you're like, oh, Ravs, are you coming? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ravs. I didn't uh, mean to set you off. No, I was, like, I was like 16 when I tried this, so I can't remember if it was like a fucking seal noises or whatever the fuck you're doing. There are binaural, binaural beats and stuff, right? Oh, Which right. I, I do listen to because they're incredibly relaxing. Right, it's like white noise, but not as harsh. But do you ever put like the wrong mm. one on, and you're like, "Fuck, I'm coming!" <laughs> it's like a hose. It's like a fireman's hose trying to get control of it. Ah! <laughs> Shoot, shooting ropes over the cat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry. It's like Spider Man. Spider Man's just been inside your fucking house. Oh my god, it's everywhere. <laughs> And then you see the window cleaner at the window. <laughs> oh god! No, raps. I'm sorry. <laughs> My binaural, my binaural noises. <laughs> oh, holy shit! What do you listen to, sorry? What do you say? Like what they like? What, what's what's the sound? What does it sound like? It is just like a ooh kind of thing, but it's it's like there's several frequencies on top of each other, and maybe a couple of them will be like sort of wavering, going up and down in frequency a bit, and it's really relaxing, mm. at least to me. Um. I, f- I find that stu- yeah. I find that stuff just too like maybe I'm just like maybe I can't be relaxed. I feel like being relaxed is kind of a skill. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm too like on edge all the time to like re- relax. That kind of stuff. It's like I feel like I get bored. I'd just be staring and just be like, okay, any any more any more stimulation? <laughs> just listening to the maybe Ooh. this is ADHD. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just an idiot. I'm not sure. Have you ever tried? Maybe you're just stuff? young. <laughs> Man, that's it. You're just young. You're like, it's weird. There's, there must be something wrong with me. I can't just sit and listen to when I'm getting really bored. I want to go and do stuff. Yeah, that, that's because you're young. I'm in my 40s and I'm like, oh, this is quite nice. And I'm just sat there, just staring into space. Just having a biscuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eating a rich tea. Like, mm. I'm having a good afternoon. <laughs> enjoyable, enjoyable moments. <laughs> Oh, that's God. it. I'm googling it. By Bi- binaural sexual binaural. hypnosis. Yeah, if you want, you can look up. Yeah, yeah. I think sexual you can add anything. Warn- and then sexual. <laughs> the top video is warning: sexual frequencies, binaural beats. <laughs> it's it's all bo- it's all bollocks. All of that's got to be bollocks, right? What? There's no like, I'm sh- th- like I know that there have been ones that. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is this? There, there are ones that change your eye color and stuff. I've Sorry, seen people do what? videos. Yeah, I've seen people. They've done videos about these kind of things where, like, you watch this video, you listen to this frequency, and it will change your eye color, or it will make your boobs bigger, or you know, make your dick bigger. I guess <laughs> maybe that's a thing. How fucking... There's all this, all this nonsense. What are the comments like on this? Oh my god, people yeah, are like I loving tried it. it. 
my eyes were green and now they're blue. It really works. <laughs> I listened to this and I came seven times. Sexual oh frequencies. I had to put a disclaimer in the Discord just because, like, every other yog will see that I just posted this. <laughs> Where did you post this? I posted it in general chat. What, in the office? No, no, no. <laughs> in the yog's recording server. Oh, thank God. Thank just God. in the chat. Uh- Okay, let's, let's all these all on, these birthday messages for Daph Ravs just posts by neural sexual. you <laughs> Jeez, Jeez responded with a shrek. Yeah, gift. this is this is it. This is kind of this is the kind of relaxing, nice music. But you is listen this to the you music? feel sexual? No, no. I like how it's got like the watery noise on top of it as well. Uh, so yeah. I'm just fucking adding this one to his playlist, mate. You just yeah, it's <laughs> like being in a spa. It's really nice. Oh my god, look at the responses! Oh no. Team Kirsty! <laughs> There's a lot of like, judgment. What the fuck? There's a lot of judgment going on right now. Oh. Oh my god. I just realised that we have a group chat. I could have put this in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess overall, just don't fucking flash your window cleaner. And if you are a window cleaner and it happens to you, honestly, do tell someone. Like, yeah, preferably it, someone more than us. <laughs> don't te- uh, yeah. don't just tell us. And that money might be gone, mate. I don't know. You might not get your five or whatever from doing that house. Like, yeah. maybe phone social services. Mm. Mm. And yeah. if they pop round, see if they can get the fiver off of them. <laughs> <laughs> Take the piggy bank, yeah. Hi, Zero Degrees. I work for a sales team and have been partnered with a new employee who has the last name McGoolies. <laughs> <laughs> McGoolies. Oh, my God. McGoolies. Is it OK that I don't want to work with someone with such a ridiculous last name? Imagine meeting a new client. Hi, I'm Mr. Barker. Meet McGoolies. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like... <laughs> For, for context, I feel like we should spell it out just so people can appreciate how just how silly it is. Uh, it's spelled M U G O O L I E S. I have I have never heard of that name before in my life. Yeah, I just like, I think we Oof. might be getting just trolled here. Like, I, I've just googled Maguli's name with the same spelling, and I've not found one result. <laughs> Maybe. We have to. We we should point out to people that aren't from the UK as well, or and uh, probably Ireland. Ghoulies is a slang term for testicles, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Ghoulies. Yeah. The gonads. So M- Magoolies is a pretty ridiculous name by any measurements. I wonder, mm. is it? Is they did specify last name, didn't they? Yeah, it's not, yeah. Like a, it's not like a nickname or something. Just so they ch- might be like Richard McGoolies. <laughs> Dick McGoolies. <laughs> Dick, Dick McGoolies oh for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck my life. I don't... I feel like... Oh, God, you just got... You got to fucking talk to them about that fucking name. In a nice way. In a nice way, right? Like, you know... What if they just took up like an... Like an, an act... A stage name or like a, a writer's name, you know? Like, just take like a business name, you know? I mean, Something does... that's not McGoolies. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bar- sorry. They're, 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 a last sentence. Imagine meeting a new client. Hi, I'm Barker. Meet McGoolies. <laughs> like <laughs> it just is never. <laughs> there's only there's fourteen results if you Google McGoolies. Fourteen <laughs> results. Oh, it says fifteen now. No, nice. fifteen across all of Google. Across all of Google, there's no way that this is a real there's last no name. Way Maybe they spelled person. it wrong. Maybe they spelled it wrong. They could have spelled it wrong, yeah. <clears throat> it's some shit about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Dungeon yeah, of Magooly. Dun- Dungeon of Magooly, yep. Is it oh, m- it might be Mac Ghoulies. Mac Ghoulies. Oh, it could be it could be Mac. Be like be like a Scottish. But yeah, Mac Ghoulies a- is like that's not that's still just I don't think that's a Rabs. Name. Well, have you known any no, you I've known never, any McGoolies? I've never known a McGooly, but like I feel like maybe our listener just is shit at spelling or hearing and like the the person is probably called like 
McGuinness or something. <laughs> he just heard McGuinness <laughs> or something, you know. It's Jones. <laughs> it's Jones, yeah, and he's I just feel hearing like this. The strat is 100%. You don't ever introduce them. You let them introduce you. Because they just, like, let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm Mr. McGoolies. This is Barker. It's way better than, hi, I'm Barker, and this is McGoolies. It sounds like you're a weird fucking, like, sidekick. Plus, don't, like, sales teams usually say, like, hi, I'm Craig, and this is, like, my partner, Steven, or something? Like, they never say, like, yeah, hello, that's I'm a good point. Miguel and McGoolies. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. use their first name. For yeah. fuck's sake, just use the first name. Problem solved. Easy mode. Come on. I feel get with get with the program. I feel like you can't. You you can't, you don't want to get done for bullying though. So you just never raise it with them. Just let it be this unspoken thing. Just leave it. Also, also next time you have a shower, you know, get some soap on you know your your forefingers. Put them inside your ear. Just move them around a bit. <laughs> get the fucking boy dirt out. Maybe you'll be able to hear what their name is better. <laughs> Because it probably isn't Magoolies. <laughs> yeah. Magoolies just also isn't a word. Google just says it isn't a word. It's not a thing. <clears throat> do you reckon we could check the fucking um, census? Do you reckon we could do a census check? <laughs> I, I do just it. don't. Oh my God. I don't do fucking believe. I don't believe that Magoolies is a real word. <laughs> National Census Archives. Uh, how do you just search? UK Census Online. Free search. Surname Magoolies. <laughs> There's mu- mug- they must have spelled it wrong. There's lots of variations of mu- m- Mugles, Muggles, Muglassi. <clears throat> There's lots of kind Do of variations think- around it. What if this is like a deed poll? What if they've like changed their name, like because by of a choice bet or something, or by choice? <laughs> they just like really oh. resonate with Magoolies. Maybe they're like a guy that's really into like a these nuts jokes. <clears throat> you know what maybe I mean? They're, maybe they're oh that guy God. that wrote in about their giant testicles. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my He's god! He's really taking ownership is. over it. It probably like, is. This is my life-defining trait. Oh my god! Hi, hello. Yes, it's me, Dennis McGoolies, with my pool sh- pool pool ball-sized testicles. It's got to be Richard. Richard Dick Dick McGoolies is just too great a <laughs> the fucking name. It is. It's too good. Dick I also McGooley. would buy. I don't believe it. I would. I would buy whatever Dick McGoolies <clears throat> would sell me. I'd buy whatever it was. Baldos. It's Dick McGoolie here. We gotta make a transaction. <laughs> Fuck. Bulldoze. <laughs> but, but, 20 of them. <laughs> you want them, I got them. I got giant testicles. Come on, take a look. <laughs> it's like a freak show down there. Come on. <sighs> Fucking hell. Stick them in your ass. <laughs> brilliant. What a brilliant name that I just don't believe. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yeah, they might have got either. the spelling very wrong or it, they're just making it up for jokes. I... Do you know what? Can we if, ban them? Can if we it, ban them from the podcast? No, no, even better. I want, <laughs> them, I want them to sneak a picture of that of their workmate's ID and send it into us. Is that illegal? <laughs> I don't know. No, it'll be fine. I want. I want. They proof. might get fired. I want fucking they might proof. Give... <laughs> I want proof. Tweet it at us if you can. Yeah, or you can take DM a it privately. It doesn't have to be public. Yeah. I want. An, I want to know. I or have to take know. a picture with him, being like, "This is my friend, Dick McGoolies." <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice it's selfie all... of the two of you together. It's like some fucking also, super bad shit. Open it up to anyone, anyone that's listening. If you know anyone called Magoolies, <laughs> send us proof. <laughs> we have, uh, well, our one listener who's called Magoolies is going to be fucking crying right now. We're just like, not a real name. It's a bullshit name. It means testicles. <laughs> They're like crying because they've never heard of that Mom! before. <laughs> the diggy hole man was me. <laughs> Question four. Which sense is the most important? If you had to get rid of all but one in the five senses, sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch, which would you keep? Mm. The mm. Fuck? This is like a question from, like, Saw. It is a um, little bit, yeah. I, like, really hope that, you know, they're not going to, like, take these answers literally, hunt us down, and take all of our senses away from us. Yeah, I don't want that. That's not... That's not great. That wouldn't be ideal, would it? That would yeah. suck. Um, yeah. I, I always, like, touch is an interesting one, right? Because, like, touch, does that mean you can still, like... I always think about this with food. Like, I feel like food is, like, the great one to, like, reference point it from, right? Like, yeah. does that mean you can still... Because you can't taste food, but you can still feel the texture of food in your mouth? And does touch reference... No, there's, there's neither of them if you get rid of both. You get rid of both. Oh, you of course. Yeah, you can only keep one. Fuck, keeping one is... 
Yeah, it's only rough. keeping one is really difficult here. Also, you taste- think you have to be sight or hearing? Yeah, you need to be able to like interact with the world, right? If you don't have touch, though, like, would you not know if you'd piss yourself and shit like that? Or if you're breathing, <clears throat> like, or if you were breathing, <laughs> like, touch is like pretty. There's a lot of things you're like. You don't just stop breathing. <laughs> if you lose your sense of touch, you don't just stop breathing. But is it like what is? It's fine. But is, are, we, are we saying touch is hands for the sake of it? Should we just say touch is like you can't feel things with your hands anymore? Do you know what I mean? You can't feel anything with your dick either. And dick. And dick. Okay. Sexual pleasure that's gone now. Yeah. No like, sexual like pleasure ha- whatsoever. Neck down. Neck down. No matter how like many binaural beats you listen to, nothing's coming out. <laughs> no more slinging ropes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slinging ropes, <laughs> Jesus! Such a fucking expression. Ah, uh, which one would you go for? Which one are you keeping? This is a really difficult question. I think uh, I would probably keep like sight. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't say sight? Because like, it, it's hard. It's hard. it would be very hard to just be blind. Yeah, I just just feel like... doing anything is so much harder. I feel like only having a hearing would be really frustrating. Like, not be able to touch anything, not be able to eat anything, and just be able to hear stuff. Like, be able to hear... You'd just be able to... Oh, able, shit. You wouldn't be able to hear yourself, and you wouldn't be able to taste your food you're eating, but you could hear it. So you wouldn't be able to see the food or taste it, but you would be able to hear it. Imagine uh, how weird that would be, eating food, but be able oh, yeah. to hear yourself eating. Someone just makes, like, really wet, like, mac and cheese, <laughs> and you're hearing, like, the wet sounds. <laughs> Mm. Am I, oh god am I eating right now or is that good pussy <laughs> oh Jesus Christ <laughs> oh god why those would be the questions you'd have to ask Simon if you only had hearing I'm, I'm thinking if you only have hearing just imagine you're trying to do anything in your life, oh, right? Jesus Christ. You're blind and uh-huh. you're trying to navigate the world and you have no sense of touch. Uh-huh. How you don't know where anything is. No. Like you'd be reaching out for things, you wouldn't be able to feel them. No. True. It would be it, so it has to be sight. Have- it has to be sight. If you'd pick any of the others, you're an idiot. <laughs> I honestly agree. <laughs> I, I think it's I think like, why would you choose smell? I can't interact with the world in any <laughs> other way. Will you become, I feel like if you choose smell, you become some weird superhero. Yeah, it's you're like, like daredevil, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you, yeah, I don't want to see or hear anything or touch anything or taste anything ever again. But, yeah, someone farted in a bath over there. Yep. Like, he did it. What a he fucking... did it. I can smell his boy dirt from here. I just, it's you know how. You know how Daredevil can, like, he can read even though he's blind? And I don't mean read Braille. He can actually read printed text oh, even yeah. though he's blind. Because his sense of touch is that sensitive, right? Mm. Um, how does it... Could, could if Daredevil only had a sense of smell, could he read just by sniffing the page... <laughs> Like Dave Lister <laughs> smelling with the, the ink. cat books. Yeah, like smell the <laughs> smell the way the ink moves around the yeah. page. What I love it. What would be his name? Like we have to change his name from Daredevil. What would it be? The sniffer. <laughs> the sniffer. The sniffer. <laughs> Sorry. The sniffer. Okay, wait, can you even talk? With I assume eight. you can still talk, right? Losing a sense of touch doesn't mean you can't like I it would be hard yeah, to Yeah, we said we said just hands and penis, yeah. so you're right. I think bring the paper to, to me. P- bring it under my nose. <laughs> oh, God. Over time, it would get harder to talk, I, th- I think. Yeah. Um. You just forget how it works. I, I, ju- I just think you're 100% right, Simon. It's just there's no way you're not keeping anything but sight. Like, what's, we haven't discussed taste yet. Like, for sure, it'd be weird not having taste on food, but fuck it. I think you get over that to live, right? Yeah. Like, people have lost their sense of taste before, and, you know, they're still, to, still going thankfully about. Still, least... Thankfully, still have main COVID times. Yeah, true. Oh. I mean, if you keep sight, just think about this, right? You, okay. can, you can go to the toilet without anyone helping you. True. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you lose any of the others, you're in trouble because yeah. you lose everything, right? <laughs> That's true. You lose everything. Yeah. I mean, it would be a weird sensation pissing and not be able to feel 
that you're holding your piss, holding your piss, holding your penis. <laughs> Barry, <laughs> really? just Barry? Just between just your fingers. Just your hand. Barry, just what are you doing? Putting it your hand and splashing it into the oh toilet. God. Never shake but hands with Barry. Never, never shake, shake hands, hands with him. Just, sorry, what an image. Just this man <laughs> fucking pissing into just his hand. Cupping his hand. <laughs> it's fine, I can't smell it. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> I can't taste it or smell it. Fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. But also, you wouldn't like. Oh my god. You know, like when you get up in the middle of the night and you know you're, there's other people in the house and you're, you're trying to piss quietly. You know, you're pissing on like the side oh, of yeah, the bowl. You, so you, just... you don't know if you're making the big like piss oh, sound. No. Yeah, Fuck, that's you why you got to sit down. <laughs> you got to <laughs> sit down to pee. Yeah, you got to do the backwards <clears throat> sit down where you face the um. Yeah, you, you got to face the wall the, face the wall. Yeah, yeah. That's the outfit. Like, or. Yeah. Submerge yourself under water uh-huh. and then pee. <laughs> Piss in the bath. Mm. Then it's silent. That's true. The we, perfect crime. The perfect crime. <laughs> I. Yeah, I just think it's got to be. It's got to be sight. I'm weird because yeah. I always feel like I, I guess usually people. The question isn't posed of you only get to keep one. I feel like that's why yeah. this this one makes. Yeah, it it's usually posed as what one if you had to lose one. You know. Yeah. But only and then everyone one. says smell. Yeah, because who the fuck cares about that? Interesting. Uh, well, the sniffer well, does. I actually feel like we've actually solved that problem. Yeah. That actually it solved. It's solved. For once. Zero qualifications, zero degrees. We've actually fucking done it. We've we've problem solved the question. Case well, crime, can we get mate. one of those can we get one of those rubber stamp animations? <laughs> and it says <laughs> solved on it. Solved. Busted. Let's do it. Do it, Luke. Hey, we me actually. Fuck. Why am I saying this? I'm Barry, editing this. Tomorrow. Do it. Me. Remember to do this. If I, if the, it's just gonna be. There's nothing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna forget. Yeah. <laughs> sad. sad. It's a sad moment. It's a sad moment. Dear degree people, help, plus. I'm a single gay guy approaching his thirties, and I feel like I haven't really gone out there and done anything fun and crazy. I spent a long time focusing on helping those around me, but I never took a chance to really do what I wanted to do. I'm finally starting to go places and I feel that I'm not quite there yet. I live in a pretty cool town, but I still feel like I'm not living, you know? I'm also a librarian and y'all better have your damn library cards. Thanks. And then they put their name, which I'm not going to read. We don't dox. We don't dox. No, no. we're non-doxing. Yep. Um... Approaching your thirties, but you're still young. <clears throat> what? Like, I don't. What, there's no. That means you're in your twenties. Yeah. There's no. There's no panic. Chill. Relax. Take it slow. I think they need. They need. They've not. They've never had like a wild phase. Mm. I think is kind of what they're saying. It's, it, they haven't had that wild phase of a few years getting shit faced, doing dumb shit. You know. Yeah. I feel. It doesn't sound. It sounds like they miss. Just- Start doing some drugs. That'll liven up your life. <laughs> Just start oh doing some drugs. Start hanging out with some real shifty motherfuckers. <laughs> Suddenly, a lot yeah, of excitement in A couple in of dive life. bars. Yeah. Do a couple crimes. Just, you know, wild it up. Come on. What are you doing? You boring. Oh, it's to be boring. Librarian mm. by day, cat burglar by night. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I, do I, some crime. <laughs> Be gay, do crime. Isn't that not the same? That's the model. That's yeah. the same. That is there you the go. <laughs> I I feel like I feel like they kind of they weirdly like long to do the crazy things. It doesn't actually seem like they kind of want to. It feels like they're just sad they've missed out. Less so than they actually want to. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't it doesn't give me the vibe that they're like, oh, I haven't done the crazy crazy things. But like, do you? It's fine to not do all the crazy things. You don't have to. Not everyone has to fucking do do crimes and do drugs. I mean, it sounds like they're living like a nice life, you know? They're helping people around them, they said. And, you know, it feels like they're starting to go places. Yeah. Um, Just be a bit more... Don't fuck it up. (laughs) Don't fuck it up by doing something (laughs) stupid. Yeah. Don't fucking take this nicely... Nice. You know, you put work into that life. Don't fucking tit it all up with some... Oh, God, just do a few few drugs. Go on, actually, yeah. Just do a couple. Why not? Maybe they do need to do some new things. New things. Whether it's taking up a new hobby that gets you out there, mm. right? Or, or or going clubbing a few times if you've never oh, done that. That might be a good idea, yeah. Right? Yeah. No, nothing insane. Nothing insane. But, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're young 
gay man, you'll be fine going clubbing. Find find some nice gay clubs. Mm-hmm. Go, you know, you'll make friends. Even if you go there alone, you'll make friends. You'll be fine. I, um, I feel like I feel like they probably haven't gone like traveling or something. This this strikes oh. me as an American. This strikes yeah, me as I someone think, in America. Yeah. The, pro- the problem the- with traveling is the amount of time it takes. Yeah. Like, but it feels like, like working in a library. You could, you could. That's something that you could go on. You know, a little, little break. Yeah, you could take it, like a little leave, back, right? Get like Brenda to cover you that week and yeah. just like go, go travel for a while. I like know? to imagine it's quite it feels a nice like, work setting. It feels like traveling is more than like just having a week off, right? Yeah, it's like a month or something at least, right? Yeah. So, you know, that's that's making some memories. That's doing some crazy shit. You know, I feel like everyone who goes traveling does come back changed in some way although just going to a foreign country for a week would be pretty big if they've yeah. never done that before yeah they're american by the looks of the the question um yeah. go to europe for yeah. a week that would be pretty wild don't go to france though yeah don't Any... i wouldn't recommend france you don't you want to get sad you, yeah. you want to go somewhere where people will be happy to speak english to you Exactly, yeah. Um, you don't want like someone to be rude because you're, you know, speaking Spain's at them. Spain's pretty bad for that as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, quite a lot of European countries don't. Go Greece. Greece, Greek people love it. They, they're, they're well into it. You get bang on in Greece. Yeah, do it. Do it. Just just buy a transatlantic flight to solve your problems. <laughs> what about what about Holland? <laughs> that, yeah, yeah that'd be pretty sick. We're Holland's just back from wild. there. Yeah. 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 Ah! Honestly, Berlin. I mean, Berlin sounds like really weird. Oh, Berlin... Feels like the place you need to go to put some excitement in your life. Yeah, that might be too yeah. much excitement. That might be too, too much. You too might lose a kidney, <laughs> but that's yeah. fine. There'll Just be and- there'll be a guy called the machine, all dressed in leather, <laughs> that removes it. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. You mean the machine? D- yeah, yeah. The machine. Das <laughs> machine. <laughs> das do, machine. Do you guys but ever... machine is with a capital M. But before M. that, he was the dance machine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you guys ever had that kind of worry? I feel like it's quite a normal little concern to pop into your head, right? Like, oh, am I doing enough? Whatever. Like, I feel like that happens quite a lot. I, I've had it a few times in my life, but like right now, I'm you know I, I feel happy and content. But you know, I can I can certainly see where this this chap's coming from. Mm. How about All you right, guys? Ravs, just uh-huh. imagine. Okay, you're in the shower. All right, you slip, you fall. Oh no! Your life flashes before your eyes, before your head smacks against the ground. Oh, oh my fuck! God. Have you led a good life? Uh you know what? I think I have. <laughs> I think I have. <laughs> the image that flashes into your head is that guy wanking. Oh, <laughs> no. You're on the ladder. No! No! It's I'm the lying. last thing. I'm lying there, bleeding out, and the ringing in my ears reminds me of binaural beats, and I shoot ropes of cum all over myself. <laughs> Poor fucking Bree. My Poor family. Bree. My family. Poor Bree <laughs> finds Thanks. you yeah, seven Bree. days later. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my yeah. god. What am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Goes back and plays Dead by Daylight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> sake. You know, I mean that's I mean that's a great place to wrap it. I mean that's I don't feel like we could oh. we could peak any higher than that. I think mean, that's <laughs> I think mean, that's it. I think we're yeah. done. Wow. i some good questions today. We yeah. fucking sped through them. I like it. I like answering lots of different questions. It's good. Yeah, Real some old, good. some new, weird and weird and weird and good. Yeah, just four hundred and ninety-five left. <laughs> There's so many. There's so fucking many. Thank you, thank you for joining us, though, Simon. I really appreciate it. Um, we're You're sure, welcome. We're this sure is to a lot get of you fun. back. We we have to do one with Lydia as well. It feels yeah. feels like a, not not well, a Lydia's complete back. episode until Lydia's yeah. back. So we'll have to get you on again. Um, we'll have you so on again you. for sure. If you if you'll come thank back, you. he'll be like, "It's going to close this." Like, oh, that's fucking. We never talk about more come or all. boy dirt it's in blocks. my life. Blocks. <laughs> 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 this, is the <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the final thing Simon ever recorded. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, God. Be sure to send in your questions, though. We do we do still check through the new ones. Um, 
because obviously some of the old ones there's this questionable yeah. well, quality some some of these were were older ones i decided i'd you know dive back into the depths to to find some old ones you know just so everyone gets a fair shot yeah it's good it's good um and be sure to check out uh simon's period portions and simon who streams pretty much every every morning and thursday evenings with um with g Festcraft. go give him some love it's monday um, and tuesday morning thursday friday saturday evenings boom there yeah. we go check him out give him some love um ask him about zero decrease questions all, all that good stuff oh god yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, also <laughs> Uh, I know we said we would do video for guests, but you know I'm I have COVID. Lydia's <laughs> sick. Harry's sweaty. It's just yeah, it's, it's not it's, a good time. It's not the one. The video it's not the one will today. never end. Yeah. Yeah. We will eventually. Chill. Uh -huh. Chill. Okay. Chill. Yeah. Chill, young Padawans. Just, yeah. Have a just go visit a nice spa with some yeah. cat girls. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. That'll be nice. All right. Um. <laughs> thanks for listening, and we'll catch you all next week. See you later. Bye. 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 bye, bye.